let's face it, in America, there is no car that says Volkswagen more than the Beetle. That is the brand right there. So is a third generation Beetle a better, more reliable, more fun car? Well, let's take it for a ride and find out. All right, first impression, it's a lot wider, it's a lot more grown up, and it's a lot more masculine. In the old Beetle, if I were sitting with somebody, I'd be shoulder to shoulder with them, and this one, there's enough room to stretch out and, uh, you know, hold the camera like I'm doing right now. You know, we tried to go back to that um, air-cooled Beetle of the 50s and 60s and 70s and get that shape that everybody uh, was recognizable, everybody knew, um, and everybody liked. Volkswagen added some performance enhancing drugs to the new Beetle, Thing Testosterone, and one of the ways they've done that is by adding this uh, flat bottom wheel. You know, the, the new Beetle was so specific in its demographic, mostly feminine, mostly female. We wanted to, to keep those same customers, but broaden and open up that um, customer base. And so we have something that's sportier, uh, more aggressive, and hopefully appeals to everybody. The base engine is a 2.5, 170 horsepower, 177 pound-feet of torque. Um, then we move up to the turbo with 200 horsepower, 207 pound-feet of torque. And then the TDI that comes next year, uh, it's the same one we have in the other cars, 140 horse, 236 pound-feet of torque. One of the things you immediately notice getting in this car is just how much more substantial, how much heavier, how much more grown up for lack of a better word, it feels. And the other thing I've noticed, just how quiet it is. I think VW's put a lot of money and time into developing a more grown up car. We start right around 19 grand for the base 2.5. Um, the 2.5 that has most of the equipment that we think the customers will really uh, enjoy is just under 20 grand. And then the turbo starts at 23, 395, and the TDI will be similarly priced. We're not finalized yet since it's not till next year. Okay, full disclosure, I own two of the previous generation models and they both had issues. There's no doubt in my mind that this is a better car. It's smoother, it's built more solidly, it's a lot quieter, and it's faster. But, will it hold up over time? Is it a better car over the next five years? Has VW gotten over their quality control issues? Well, and this is a cliche, time will tell. Roman Micah, as always, reporting for TFLcar.com. What's the gas mileage when it's applied to the Beetle? Um, for the turbo, it's about 2231, uh -huh. and for the 2.5, it's about 2129. And you said that this is 120 pounds lighter than a GTI, so do you yeah. have a zero to 60 time on it? Uh, it's about 6.8, it's, it's real similar, but we, we wanted to make sure that the GTI remains the performance halo yeah. of the brand, or the performance icon, right. when you think about the performance cars. So, I mean, again, it's a great car, it's just below a GTI. And this is obviously the image halo of the brand, oh, right? Oh, this, this is the brand. I mean, this is what started Volkswagen.